It is a great satisfaction to greet you and I hope you find yourself well. In today's video we will talk about the following. Your ex flaunts his happiness, what does it mean and what to do? Let's find out now. Feeling love for someone always makes us feel joy, we feel happier and life seems rosy to us. In fact, when we fall in love, our brain causes physiological reactions and releases chemicals that are important to create that feeling. However, when the relationship ends, everything turns upside down and even more so if we see that our former partner has resumed his life, and we stagnate. In this video I want to explain why your ex is flaunting happiness and what you should do. 1. Why does your ex brag about being better off without you? Perhaps your ex-partner sees that you are still attached to this relationship and does not know what to do to make you realize that what you once had has ended. Sometimes, when people do not feel guilty for having hurt someone, we want to repair it in some way and we do not realize that sometimes we do not do it in the best way. Your ex-partner also in an attempt to make you jealous may say things like I'm better off without you, when it is not what he really feels. It is also good that when someone who has been important to you tells you something that hurts you, such as I'm better off without you you act and defend yourself from that damage in the following way. Express how you feel. If what he told you has hurt you, it is important that you express it and communicate it so that the other person can give you their reasons or simply apologize for what he has said. Ask why he does or said it. If you have any doubts you have, it is best to expose those doubts to the other person and be able to see their point of view. Analyze your relationship. When your ex makes such a statement to you, it may be a good time to analyze the relationship as objectively as possible. Perhaps for you it was also a harmful relationship and what he said allows you to open your eyes. 2. Why do you feel that your ex is happy, and you may be not? You feel that your ex-partner has moved on with her life and you, however, are still stuck in that chapter of your life. You wonder why and find no answer. He or she is happy and I am not. This fact can cause you great sadness, anguish, and anxiety, because then we are going to see what may be happening. The idealization. Perhaps at this moment you are seeing all the qualities of your ex-partner. When you think about him or her, only the virtues of her and everything she did well in the relationship come to mind, but remember, nobody is perfect. You feel that you have lost the best person in the world because you have idealized this person and you cannot see the defects that he also had. Expectations. Perhaps the expectations of both were not equal. It may be that you imagined spending the rest of your life together and the idea that they could end at some point never crossed your mind. That is why you created joint goals and now you feel helpless, perhaps it is time to set your own goals. You let yourself go. Despite the fact that nowadays we can maintain contact with a person through social networks, it is important to bear in mind that on these platforms only a part of the person's life is shown. On these platforms, good times, joys, trips, etc. are usually shown. Do not stay only with what you can see there, life is more than that. The contact is constant. Maybe it can be good to distance yourself with that person on social media. If you think that this may be too radical and that the other person may take it badly, you can send them an explanatory message, like this, for a while I prefer to stay out of my life, that's why I prefer to stop following you on social networks, I hope you understand, it is for my good. You talk too much about your ex. There should be moments for everything in the process of getting over a breakup, but it's important not to obsess over talking about your ex all the time. Don't be at the center of all conversations. You should give your thoughts fresh air with new topics of conversation. You have damaged self-esteem. Family, friends, partner, co-workers or people who have a great influence on how people see ourselves. That is why experiencing one of those people leaving your life voluntarily can harm your self-esteem. Fear to loneliness. It may happen that the loss of the effective bond with your partner has awakened in you a feeling of loneliness, in addition this feeling grows more if your ex-partner has already rebuilt her life, or tells you that she is happy. When we feel like this, it is important to remember that in life we have more people around us and that one of the best companies is yourself. To overcome these moments, the first step is to regain confidence in yourself, for this it is very important to reinforce your self-esteem. I'm glad to tell you that you don't have to wander in the dark, hoping to get lucky. Take advantage of our experience and recover the person you love. Click on the description of this video and now access the following personalized guide. Subscribe and comment. A pleasure and thank you.